welcome to the Cal TV show. My name is Katie Felber, for now. And ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the 298th day of 2007 here on this planet called Earth. I think that deserves a big celebration. Woo! 298! Yeah! Woo! Oh my god. Is it hot or what? It is so hot that my hot flashes are the only time I'm cool! Who writes this stuff? Ladies and gentlemen, it is too hot for its hot jokes. They're not funny. Excuse me while I pour some water on me. Oh my god, it's evaporated. What are you gonna do? Today is the birthday of Pedro Martinez, a pitcher for the New York Mets, as well as Jorge Luis Batalla Ibanez, former president of Uruguay. Oh, and a very special happy birthday to Peter Apple. You know, for the past couple weeks, I've been up in Alaska wrestling with polar bears and have been lucky enough to have Deborah and Ivanka fill in for me. But I just could not risk today's top stories being skewed, so I decided to come and report myself. Oh, you may want to see what the polar bears got a piece of me. Ugh, you know, those guys are rough animals. But, uh, you should see what I did to them. Today's top stories. More than 700,000 ladybugs have been captured and scattered over Manhattan's Lower East Side in an effort to get rid of insects without using artificial pesticides. Next up on Mayor Bloomberg's agenda, hiring Rick Moranis to build a machine that will shrink the rat population down to the size of ants. <sighs> Good luck on that one. In a related story, a man at New York's LaGuardia Airport has been held for interrogation after smuggling a monkey from Florida. True story. When asked how he went unnoticed, one flight attendant remarked that she thought it was his baby and did not want to be rude. We live in a weird country, Berkeley, but I didn't have to tell you that. For now, let's take it out to Chin with a special report on the nature of cyclists. Chin? Thank you, Katie. Today we're doing an investigative report on an often overlooked minority group on campus, people with bikes. They're taller, they're faster, and they've got wheels. Why is that? Today we're going to find out what exactly these people do with their bikes. Would you associate yourself more as a biker or cyclist? Biker, and in the hardest core sense possible. I, I, a fairly casual biker, and I don't like try and ride for really long distances or anything. Um, how much would you say you love your bike? This one in particular has changed my life, actually. Would you ever take a girl out, you know, on a romantic ride around the town? No. Do you have a nickname for your bike, you know? I don't, but we could think of one right here. What do you think? Cassandra? Cassandra is a wonderful name. So, Ali, does owning a bike make you have a sense of superiority over those who don't? Um, no, it doesn't. I just can get places faster, and I like that. What do you feel about walkers when you had to, like, you know, avoid them and such? Um, I actually feel really cautious about walkers. Uh, the other day I was biking down Durant, uh, I mean, I was walking down Durant, sorry, and somebody uh, came behind me and hit me with their bike, and I had a smoothie in my hand, and it flew out of my hand, and I fell down, and the person stopped and was like, oh, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, you hit me with your bike. <laughs> so that was like, it, it hurt. It hurt bad. I feel like I'm responsible. From today's story, I conclude that people with bikes are people as well. This is correspondent Chin Liu, back to you, Katie. Thanks again, Chin. And as always, such insightful reporting. Well, that's all the time we have for you tonight. Tune in next week for our Halloween special. For now, I'm Katie Felber, reporting live. Stay safe and stay cool. I'm not going to say anything about domestic violence, but that's all I got to say right there. Yes, yes, you, yes, yes. Home? I'm married to a polar bear. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he beats me every night. <sighs> I know, those guys are crazy fellows. Did you ever notice when people do British accents, they're completely exaggerated? It's like, hello.